back at the lathe we're making the adjuster nut for the quick change tool post holders make them out some brass what alloy brass I don't know I've had this a long time this chunk it's nice and gold colored it's not dark dark it's bright I don't so I, I really don't know it's just a piece of scrap I had one inch in diameter so we're gonna drill it then we'll be tapping part way we'll, we'll make a couple and cut them off tap it some more as we go along so I'm going to drill this out to to a letter Q 0.332 for three and a quarter inches so we'll get started on it Nine thirty four, nine thirty three. That's right. We'll get set up for a neural. Well, we'll see how this goes. Might not be too bad. Let's see. look too bad could be better but I screwed up I should have set my tool farther over I didn't check that for travel now let's reverse it and do a little more and uh, we'll deal with that when I get to that point
and another one. So I go over 30. Go in and make a 15,000 step to cut. Back out. Then I go over 242, which accounts for my tool thickness. Which is, uh, my tool is 91,000, Sarah. I go in another 15. And I go over another 30 to 272. And go in 116,000. And I go in 292, another 20,000. That's where my part will be. I go in there a little ways. Let me do it again. Reset my DRO and go over and do it again. Yeah, I'll finish these up. There's uh, 10 of them. The last one didn't get neural because I ran out of travel, but that's okay. I'll, I'm going to neural it after I get all these off of here. Then I'm going to neural that one. So they don't look too bad. Look pretty good. Look pretty even. Now we'll uh, just try cutting them off. Okay, so I threaded some more, and I'm just putting the stud in there, and I can I should be able to turn this right off. Grass is pretty soft, so you don't doesn't really take a lot of pressure. for each one.
You know, I don't even need a hold it. I'm just catching it. It's all really good. Okay, so I changed my collet to a 3 8 collet. I took the same stud I was using and stuck it in there. Spin the, I'm going to spin these on here like that. Clean up this one side. Put a little chamfer on those. There's a, the flat side, and this side here has a 20 thousandths lip for the nut to, the locking nut will sit against that. A little up raised flange surface there. I don't know if you can tell, but that's what we're, we did. So I got uh, nine more of these to go. I ended up with ten. So I'm just going to go through them. 